Hey everyone, get ready for an exciting ride. Today, I have an awesome trick to share with you on how to use Game Guardian without needing to root your device. Yes, you heard it right, and it works like a charm, even if you're running the latest Android versions like 12 or 13 so. Sit back, relax, and make sure you watch the entire video because you won't want to miss a single second of this game changing information. Let's get started with the trick. Download and install Virtual Master. Open the Play Store on your device. Search for the Virtual Master application and install it. Install the Z Archiver application. Once the installation is complete, close the Play Store. Manually root Virtual Master. By default, Virtual Master doesn't come rooted. To enable root access, download the Super User and Exposed Installer applications. To do this, open any web browser, such as Chrome. In the browser search bar, enter lootandlearn.com slash ggvm, or use the link provided in the video's description. Scroll down the page until you find the download link. You can choose to download the file from either Google Drive or Mediafire. Click on the Download Now button. Now download it. After successfully downloading the file, close the browser. Open the Z Archiver application. Grant the necessary permissions. Go to the download folder and extract the downloaded zip file. Use Solitude as the password, with all letters capitalized. After successfully extracting the zip file, you will see a folder called Virtual Master Root by Solitude. Open it to find the super user and exposed installer applications. Close the archiver and open Virtual Master. Accept their policy by clicking the I Agree button. If your device version is Android 12 or above, please proceed with the following steps. However, if your device version is lower than Android 12, kindly skip the video and jump to the timestamp 4 minutes and 55 seconds. Open Developer Options. Begin by selecting the Activate button. Ensure that your device is connected to a Wi-Fi network, or use another phone as a hotspot if you don't have Wi-Fi access. Click on the Open Developer Options button which will take you to your phone settings menu. Proceed to locate and select system settings. Within the system settings, find about phone. If you can't locate it, use the search bar to search for about phone and open it. Within the about phone section, find software information and open it. Look for build number. Tap on build number seven times consecutively. If your phone is password protected, enter the password when prompted to activate the developer options. Go to Virtual Master's dashboard. Pair device with pairing code. Click on pair your device. It will open the developer options menu. Scroll down the menu, find the wireless debugging option and enable it. Click on Wireless Debugging Options and select Pair Device with Pairing Code. A six-digit Wi-Fi pairing code will be displayed. Pull down the notification bar on your phone and enter the provided code. Click Tap to activate. If activation fails, disable and enable wireless debugging and then pair it again. Click on pair your device again, disable the wireless debugging switch, enable it again. Select pair device with pairing code and enter the six digit pairing code again. You will see that the activation is now successful. Go back from this window. Click on the Create VM button 
select Android 7 and hit the next button. Hit the next button again, and then hit the complete button. Now click on the start VM button. It may take a few seconds to start, so please be patient. Still, our virtual master does not have root access. To enable root access, we need to install super user and exposed installer in our VM environment. Open add files and click on the import button. Navigate to the folder where we extracted our downloaded file previously. Select the super user application and hit confirm. It will reboot the VM environment. Open add files again, select the import option, and this time choose the exposed installer application. Hit confirm and it will reboot our VM environment. We have now successfully rooted our VM environment. To confirm, let's add a root checker application. After opening the root checker application, when I hit the verify root option, you can see that it shows our virtual master is successfully rooted. Open VM settings. Enable Google services and hit confirm. It will reboot our VM environment. Now we can proceed to install Game Guardian in our VM environment. Downloading and installing Game Guardian. Open the browser application. Enter Game Guardian in the search bar and open their official website. Scroll down the page, click on the download this file button. Click on the agree and download button and download the gameguardian.apk file. Wait for the download to complete and then install it. Close the browser and open Game Guardian. Select for hack 64-bit games in 64-bit virtual space. Now locate the start button in the bottom right corner and click on it. A floating game guardian icon will appear on the screen. To demonstrate its functionality, I will now add a game to the VM environment. Open your selected game. Click on the floating Game Guardian icon, and you will notice that Game Guardian operates smoothly without encountering any errors. If you encounter any issues, check the video description for troubleshooting tips. In a future video, I will demonstrate how to utilize Game Guardian to locate and modify in game currency codes according to your requirements. If you are viewing this video a few days later, you can find the link in the description. Additionally, make sure to subscribe for further updates. Thanks for watching.